Hey everyone, welcome to this Tower TV buying guide. Today we have the Tamiya CCO2 uh, kind of crawler platform on the table. And uh, they chose to put the Mercedes AMG G500 body on this, with, which in my opinion looks pretty darn good. Uh, of course, if you paint it correctly, unlike me, not a good painter, you'll see in a bit. Uh, so pretty impressive build, um, not much metal components on this. I did have uh, axle upgrades to the uh, steel axles or drive shafts, whatever you want to call them. And then I have uh, ball bearings throughout the entire car so it rolls a bit better uh, instead of the bushings and plastic bearings that it comes with. So pretty much plastic all throughout the car, um, not much different from normal Tamiya kits, uh, keeps the prices low. Performance is still really good. Um, I wouldn't necessarily go crawling with this. It looks a little bit too nice in my opinion. I'd kind of just want to put it on the shelf and have it look uh, nice in the background. Nice custom piece that you can stare at while you get up in the morning or something like that. Um, just cool options that you can, uh, the way you can paint it. To me it gives you a whole guide in the manual on how you can paint this car. Uh, using five different paints and a whole bunch of details. Uh, I kind of just went through quickly and painted it. Uh, I didn't focus too much on the details. I uh, just needed to get it done and built. Um, tires aren't great crawler tires, but like I said, it's kind of a show vehicle in my opinion, uh, more just for the looks. Uh, it does come with lights, so the front and rear light buckets are separate, so you can stick the lights to the top of the roof, of course, on the inside, and have LED lights up front and in rear. Uh, pretty cool feature that Tamiya includes in the box uh, along with a ESC motor uh, and no servo and you'll need a receiver. That's the only things you'll need for this. And then as like most Tamiya kits, this is a kit. So you have to build it from the ground up. Everything comes in bags and parts trees. Uh, you have to cut everything and put it together, which I, I really like. I like building kits. Uh, so it kind of learns or teaches you how to operate the vehicle so if something breaks and goes wrong you can go and fix it. Uh, just a cool thing uh, about building a kit that's nice. So we'll go over some of the details on the inside of the chassis so you guys can see uh, what it's all about. So now that the body's off you guys can see inside the vehicle. Uh, it does come with a brush motor. You don't need much more than a brush motor for crawling. Not too many people I know uh, upgrade to brushless and thus they're trying to race them or really competitive crawler people that can actually handle it. Uh, the ESC can handle brushless. Uh, it does come with an extra cord so you can run brushless but you can also run this on 3S with the brush system. So maybe recommend doing that instead of upgrading to brushless motor. Uh, just a bit cheaper. Um, I did cut off the Tamiya plug and put on a Spectrum IC3 plug. That's just the batteries I use so I wanted to put that battery plug on there. Um, the switch to turn on the car is in a very nice place, directly mounted to the chassis, so you can get at it from underneath the vehicle. Uh, nice, easy thing to get to. Uh, the vehicle is also a kind of ground up chassis rebuild that Tamiya did, so it does have front and rear independent suspension. It's got front and rear trailing arms. It's got front and rear diffs. Uh, lock diffs, of course, they're not open diffs like any crawler would be. Uh, I put the steel drive shafts on, like I said. Uh, covered receiver box, so your receiver's not going to get too wet. Uh, of course, if you drench this thing in water, it's going to get a little bit wet, but not that big of a deal. It's going to keep uh, that receiver kind of splash proof, essentially, from getting uh, drenched in water. Uh, servo mount is nice and up front, so you have plenty of steering. I didn't happen to put a servo in this, just wanted to keep it kind of a roller, uh, what the kit actually comes with, so I didn't put a servo in there. Um, tires, like I mentioned, pretty good tires, more of like a cruising tire than a like crawling up steep rock tire. Maybe if you want to take a stroll on the beach with your uh, Mercedes AMG, uh, you can do it in this one instead of spending a bunch of money in a real uh, Mercedes AMG uh, G500. But uh, other than that, pretty cool kit, pretty interesting the way it goes together. Definitely recommend picking one up just so you can uh, get the experience of building it and uh, have a nice show model when you're done. So if you guys have any more questions, let me know in the comments down below. And of course, click that link so you can see what uh, the Mercedes AMG G500 is all about. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.